Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a checklist with a checkbox that automatically checks or unchecks on click. For example, this is my checkbox which gets checked whenever I click and unchecked whenever I click it again. This is a checkbox which changes its state once it is clicked. And also, I am going to show you different symbols that you can get in this kind of checkbox when checked or unchecked and different properties of checkbox and last is the shortcut by which you can get checkbox so you can create a custom shortcut for example backslash checkbox and which gets converted into a desired checkbox this is all what i'm going to cover in this video so let's start so first thing is i'm not going to cover the way by which you can create this table i'm going to cover the procedure to get a checkbox which is clickable or fill it this is what i'm going to cover so to get this kind of checkbox i'm going to delete this checkbox now to get this kind of checkbox you have to enable a developer tab so my developer tab is currently available right if you have not used any of the developer features like macro and other things so this may not be available for you but you can enable it by going to files clicking on options then going to customize ribbon and in the right side in the customize the ribbon make sure that the main tabs are selected if this tab is not available you will see something like this just make sure you check box against developer tab and then click ok to get this developer tab once this is done you will have this developer tab in your microsoft word now to insert a checkbox first place the cursor where you want to insert a checkbox then navigate to developer tab and here in controls click on the button which says checkbox content control on clicking that you will get this checkbox you can see that it is clickable and you can customize the appearance when it is checked or unchecked you can also select this checkbox and go to home and increase the font size as per your liking which will change the size of the checkbox so this is how you get a checkbox which is clickable so once this is clicked the state of the checkbox changes from check to unchecked and again to check so this cycle repeats now second you can change the property of a checkbox when it is checked or unchecked and these are few examples you can make it appear like this or you can assign any symbols to checked or unchecked state of a box to do that first of all you have to select the checkbox then again go to the developer tab and here click on the properties in the control group and here you will have few different properties that you can change so the property that i am talking about is checked and unchecked symbol so at the bottom you will find checkbox properties which says checked symbol and unchecked symbol so these are the currently available checked and unchecked symbol so if you want to change the checked and unchecked symbol click on the change and from here you can find all the checked and unchecked symbol in wingding 2 if it is not available just search for wingdings 2 in font and you will be able to see this commonly used checked and unchecked symbol so let us say i want to make the, the check state appear like this right so i'll click on this thing click ok and you can see that this has changed i'll click ok so that the check state has changed so you can choose any of the check state as you like similarly to change the appearance of unchecked state again select the checkbox that you want to change go to developer tab and click on properties and here against the unchecked symbol click on change and from here you can select symbols that you want to use as an unchecked state for example i'll select this as an unchecked state i'll click ok and again i'll click ok and you can see that this is unchecked state and this is checked state one more property is a bounding box which is like this so this is a checkbox with a bounding box so whenever i click near the checkbox you can see that this extra bounding box appears but if you don't want to have a bounding box so you can remove the bounding box this is a checkbox without bounding box so you can see that this extra bounding box doesn't appear to change this property you have to select the checkbox again go to the developer tab click on properties the general section against show as click on the drop down menu and select none and click ok this will remove the bounding box that is there in checkbox next thing is to create a shortcut if you want to insert a checkbox then you need not go to the developer tab and click on this checkbox again and again you can create a shortcut i have created a shortcut which is like C H E C K B O X. so this is a customized shortcut that i have created and then press space the text gets converted into a checkbox to do that select the entire checkbox make sure that if you have bounding box make sure that you select the entire thing then go to files click on options go to proofing and click on auto correct options and here make sure that the formatted text is selected and in replace shortcut text that you want to replace it with this kind of checkbox so i will just type backslash c h e c k b o x then click add and then click ok to close this dialog box and then again click ok close it now let us check whether this is really working 
So I'll type the shortcut text that is backslash C H E C K B O X and then press space. You can see we got the desired checkbox which is clickable. You can see that if I click, this is working. So that's all in this video. If you want to see more such videos like this, then please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell notification icon. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends, colleagues, so that they also get benefited from this video.